Hi, I'm Rachel. Today, let's test the GNSS performance of I-89 Pocket Vision RDK in a dense forest. After I-89 gets fixed, we open the IMU on Lemonstar software in a matter of quads. Even in such a dense forest, I-89 can still track 38 satellites and use 30 satellites. Next, we invert the pole to simulate satellite loss. After turn the pole back, we can see that I-89 quickly regains a fixed solution within seconds, and the IMU also order initializes pretty impressive. Moving on to the point stakeout interface, we select the point we just measured and stake it out. With the I-89's two premium cameras, it supports visual stakeout. By following the arrow and poking the pole to the red dot, we can achieve precise stakeout. Also, we can check that the coordinate differences are generally within 2 cm. In conclusion, I-89 effortlessly measures and stakes out with high precision even in a dense forest, showcasing the renowned enhanced GenSS performance of CHC NAV GenSS receivers. There are three main reasons for the excellent GenSS performance of I-89. Firstly, I-89 supports 14.08 channels and can track full constellations and full frequency points. Even in challenging environments, robust algorithm increases the fixed rate by 15%. Secondly, I-89 incorporates with CHC NAV latest iStar 2 technology and atmospheric interference rejection algorithm, providing an outstanding 96% reliable fixed rate, especially in atmospheric active regions. Finally, I-89 features with the hybrid GenSS engine, delivering the unmatched accuracy and reliability in any environments. Did you get it?